Hey everybody, I'm John Grinnell, and that's Lance Zerline. You can hear us mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at SportsMap HOU. Lance, we've been talking about this. Okay, this is a weird postseason schedule. you got game one, then you got a day off. Then you got game two, and you got a day off. So you got game three. You got Verlander and McCullers or Fromber in game two, depending on if you want McCullers for home to, to pitch at home. And then you got McCullers or Fromber for game three. Game four is four days now after game one. It's going to be that Sunday. JV could pitch on four days rest. Uh, Charlie, we've been talking about it, whether or not you bring him back. Charlie Palillo has a different opinion than us. If the Astros are up 2-1 to one in the ALDS, pitching Verlander on normal four days rest to go for the kill would take him out of the ALCS until game three unless you bring him back on three days rest for a t- potential Game 7. So, if up 2-1, to one, he thinks Christian Javier in Game 4 and Verlander ready to go in a do-or-die Game 5. I, I mean, I don't know that that differs from our opinion. I think that's the way you play yeah, it. Yeah, I think, I think I would like to save Verlander for Game 1 of the ALCS. Different question. What if you're down two games to one? Doesn't matter. Your hottest pitcher is named Christian Javier. And I think that's something you have to factor in. It's a pretty rare situation where you say there's anybody that you would match up with Justin Verlander. And his experience is well beyond Javier's. There's no question about that. But when you look at the way Christian Javier's pitch compared to McCullers, Fromber, and even Justin Verlander of late, Justin Verlander, Christian Javier's stuff and his performances over the last four games have been right there on par with, with, uh, with Justin Verlander in his last – you know, in his last 23 innings, which spans over four games, he's given up six hits and he struck out 29. I mean, mm. I think you'd be doing a disservice to your team to not pitch Christian Javier and leave Justin Verlander with the fifth spot or potentially close it out with, with Javier and come right back with JV in game one. So to me, it's a no-brainer. If you're up 2-1, if you're down 2-1, um, Christian Javier should pitch because, frankly, he's the second-best pitcher on the staff right now. You just happen to be shuffling him to the fourth spot. The reality is he's probably right now from a stuff standpoint and a performance standpoint your second-best pitcher right now. Would any world where he starts game three? I don't. I yeah. There's a world where it's just performance based. Yeah. And and and, uh, absolutely, there's a world where you could see that happening. I think you brought up a point on the show. I think it's going to be interesting to see how the Astros handle Fromber versus uh, Lance McCullers. Do they in the very first series worried about stacking McCullers at home and avoiding the road? Um, Because if they win, you know they could do this. They could come back and let let's say they win three one then they could come back and do the exact same thing at home in the ALCS. So how they handle the second spot and the third spot is also very interesting. Do they keep a lefty in there to separate righty, lefty, righty? Do they go with McCullers, who's better at home, and Fromber, who's been good on the road? Do they flip-flop them and have you know McCullers go two and Fromber three? I think that's really – a more interesting conversation. Well, let's talk about it in just a second. But first, I got to talk about Coors Light. Cold, clean, crisp, refreshing Coors Light. The playoffs are here. And what are you, you going to drink while you're watching your playoffs? You got to keep the, the Texas chill, baby. I mean, I know what I'm going to be drinking while the playoffs are here. I know when I'm out at the game, I'm going to drink a Coors Light. You know, when I'm not at the game, I'm going to drink a Coors Light. When I'm just walking in the park, I'm going to drink a Coors You probably shouldn't be drinking a, a, a Coors Light in the park. But you know what? It doesn't matter where you're at or what you're doing. It's always cold clean crisp and refreshing i'm keeping texas chill do your part keep texas chill as well with coors light yeah I, here's the thing is we can talk about this all we want what about dusty i mean and, and what about Fromber deserving to start game two the season that he's had the records that he's broken winning the all-star game coming to becoming a, a major force and a top pitcher in the american league uh, is it a slap? Would it be a slap into the, to his face I to just not think start game These two? conversations are such a media and fan base conversations. Guys who are winning, if it's not about the end of now, we're talking individual. What does Fromber think? What does Fromber think? Well, 
Well, I would imagine Fromber wants to start game two. That's fine, but will you do what's best for the team? And I think Fromber is probably a team guy too, and will do what's best for the team. He may want to start in the second game, but if you're not making decisions based on what's best for the team, I think you really have to question yourself as a manager and as an organization. What is best for the organization? And I understand that's a conversation with Fromber and Dusty to be had if they decide to do it. But in terms of you know, that's something that we see on Twitter. That's something that media members that we'll talk about on the radio show. But honestly, the slap in the face, I mean, it's not a slap in the face. The guy's paid very, very well. He is an, an, an integral part of the rotation. Moving him from two to three should not be seen as a slap in the face. It should be looked at no. as an analytical decision. And this just in, the Astros have been an analytical organization since 2013. So, I think that's when Leno came in with uh, with Jim Crane was 12, 13. So once that happened, their decision making is a lot of it's based on analytics. And the analytics may tell you, hey, McCullers home, Fromber Road historically makes mm -hmm. more sense. Yeah. And listen, Fromber has down the stretch here. These last couple of starts have, haven't been great. Not as sharp. Not yeah, as looks, sharp. It could be fatiguing. Look at how many innings he's worked. Yeah. No, no, no. And he's um, he's hitting numbers that he hasn't hit before as far as starts goes, and he may be wearing out. Listen, Lance McCullers looked great. He had plenty of rest, right? And he has looked sharp. Uh, he got sick last week, so he couldn't start. And then he, he, he started here in this last series and looked great, really great again. And at home, again, he's just so much better. It would be analytically correct to start McCullers in Game 2 and Fromber in Game 3. But we'll see whether or not Dusty does that. Because Dusty, listen, Dusty, wow, oh, Mancini comes, Vasquez comes. Hey, those guys didn't get me here. You know who's gotten Dusty here this year? Fromber. As opposed to McCullers, who wasn't there for most of the season. Yeah. So he might go, no, 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 no. But he had Fromber. This guy deserves to get Game 2. But McCullers got him there last year and then right. had the injury. So it's interesting to see how he'll – you know, McCullers has – has three World – well, he didn't get World Series last year, but he's got two different years of World Series appearance. He's got a, a ton of playoff experience. I don't think there's a wrong answer. Fromber, Fromber I think, is the better pitcher right now, but I don't think there's a, a bad answer. And it's the type of discussion that, that the Astros and, and fans and media are very lucky to have where you're putting Javier, Fromber, McCullers, and, and Verlander. No one else can have this kind of discussion. Nope, absolutely not. 